really is. Now, about 16 odd years ago, there was a middleweight from Leicester called The Governor. His real name was Sean Cummins. He was, well, he was a proper character. Perhaps not everybody's cup of tea, but he could fight. And he went about it a hard and long, and I've got to tell you, the difficult way. He had a few classics, and in 1994, he was cruelly denied the European middleweight title one night in Italy against the quality champion Agostino Cardamoni. I was ringside that night. He lost the savage British title fight to Neville Brown the following year. I was ringside that night. He could really fight, but his boxing career is only half of the story. The rest will, and I'm not joking, take your breath away. Listen to this. Now, I started, I spoke to him earlier on, I started by asking him what happened and how and what he is doing now. I was involved in an accident uh, in 2004 and um, I've currently been bedridden, um, unfortunately. But I've, I've been busy working on a new website that I've launched, uh, which is um, BritishBoxingGreats.co.uk forward slash forum. So basically, you know, I really enjoy myself with the, the boxing forum and, and you know, the, the boxing trade is... is has been right with extended family really and helped me out. So you have you been bedridden since that bike crash? Have you been? Is that what you've been since then? No, I was hospitalised for about um, four months. Yeah. And then an accident occurred at home, and I, um, I got uh, I cut myself unfortunately on my backside. and it got infected, and uh, I had to have a couple of operations, and and so I've been stuck in bed now for five years because. It's still not healed. So, so before you had that accident at home, were you in a wheelchair then, or walking? I was in the wheelchair, and um, I was I was able to, to to get about the home and that, and sort of like get used to being disabled, really. Although, obviously, I've, I mean, this is unremarkable. Two weeks ago, um, I actually moved my toes on my left foot. So wow! First time that had happened. That's the first time, Steve. Yeah, wow. first time. So. That's got to be a good sign, hopefully. So, so what have you been doing? Your last fight was against Neville Brown up in Swaddling Coat. I was there that night. It was an unbelievable night of passion. A local boxer, Neville. Local boxer, you, Derby. Not, uh, sorry, Leicester, not too far away. Um, what have you, that was in 1995. Your accident was in 2004. What did you do in that nine years in between, Sean? Uh, well, in the nine years between, I mean, a lot of people are mistaken thinking that I actually retired after the Neville Brown fight. Uh -huh. um, but unfortunately, I didn't retire, and I made a little few errors with, you know, in life, and um, ended up doing a little bit of porridge. And um, I really tried to get myself back in the ring, mm -hmm. and I was really up for getting my determination to come back. And you know, I really believed I could still be a force and become a world champ. But I just never seemed to get the, um, the breaks. The, the breaks, Steve. Mm -hmm. Now, a year, and, um, a year before the Neville fight, you mean I was with you? out in San Remo, out in um, just over the border from France in Italy, when you fought Agostino Cardamoni for the European title, when you dropped him that time, and he was on the floor for about three and a half days, and he still they still helped him up, and you still managed to lose. Do you, you remember that fight? I mean, oh, it could it have been so done. different for you, couldn't it, Sean? It could have been, Steve, you know. I mean, I threw the left hook uh, moving away from Cardamone, and... Um, I didn't deliver it as a knockout punch, and the next thing I know, as I'm stepping away, he's going over. So I slung a right, and um, unfortunately, he missed. But you know, yeah, it could have been so different for me. Mm. You know, so I mean, it, it, before that, I did get offered a title fight, two title fights. I'd been called down to London, and they got offered two title fights. One was a world title fight, mm -hmm. which I immediately said yes to. Who was that with? And the other, and the other was the European. I didn't. They didn't even have to tell me who the world champion was. You just said it yes. Definitely yes, I'm fighting that fight. And, and, and who was it anyway? Well, it's Steve Collins, and it, I kick myself to this day uh, that I didn't take that fight, because I, I do believe that I would have beat Steve Collins. At that time. And the European title, well, you, you got that, you had that European title fight against Cardamone, and the Neville Brown fight was the end. But you, you had a fairly lively career, didn't you, Sean? Because, um, I mean, you know, you, you weren't off, I mean, listen, I liked you, but you weren't, you, weren't, you weren't the easiest fella to get along with sometimes, were you? Well, Steve, you know, unfortunately, um, it's a case of live and learn, and, um, you know, looking back, I've got so many regrets, you know, that I, I, was, a, I was a bit... As Barry Earn once said, I'm a little bit too hot to handle. And um, I think Fair he comment, up, wasn't it? I think he summed it up in, in, in that comment, yes. I'll never forget that night up in Manchester when you fought Stevie Foster 
the Viking. That was some fight, wasn't it? 12 rounds. Forget the title that was on the line. That was just, you're fighting him in his backyard. That was, that was a classic Sean Cummings night, that, as far as I'm concerned, Sean. It was a good fight, and um, and Steve, Steve Foster is not only a, a good fighter, well, an excellent fighter, but he's also a gentleman, you know, a, a real nice man, and, and we're good friends today. So, so Sean, let me get this right. Your day-to-day, you're in a bed constantly trying to heal your body, trying to get your body better so you can at least get from the bed into a wheelchair. What's the prognosis for you, you know, getting back to where you were, you know, six, five, six years ago, back in a wheelchair? What's the, what's the hope? Well, well, I was initially told that I had um, no chance of walking again and I would be wheelchair dependent for the rest of my life. However, um, I did go through a series of tests at the Leicester City Royal Infirmary and um, one of the chaps there detected um, a little bit of movement when I was trying to push my legs and he was leaning against them. So sure. he said, he said, Sean, from a scale of z- zero to five, you know, you, you're a one. So you're at the lower end of the, of the chance but of But you're on the scale. Again. But you're on the scale. That's right. I'm on the scale, Steve. So what's and with the... people like you give me a little bit of support here and there, it means the world to me. And um, I'd like to say you'd, you've done a fantastic job for boxing. You, you know, you, you've worked hundreds and hundreds of hours, thousands of hours. And, you know, it's, I'm privileged to be speaking to you because no, you really are. Quite, quite a reverse, you know, Sean. I'm privileged to be speaking to you. What's the future hold then for the governor? As you and well, I, what's the future hold, Big Sean? Oh, Steve, I'm going to walk tomorrow and go make a comeback. Uh-huh. <laughs> what about well, you know, I'm going to just um, keep plugging away, working on my website, sure. and um, you know, uh, um, you know, just basically just fire away. Sean, what about visitors from the world of boxing? Are you in touch with anybody from the world of boxing? Does anyone ever come and see you? Well, you know, I get some. I mean, Big Joe Egan, he, he, he's a good lad, and we we speak often on the. And in fact, he's just joined the forum, so good. That, that's really nice, and. Um, I was due to speak to Michael Watson last night, and I'm going to speak to him today. So, you know, it's the boxing fraternity uh, have have kept me sane, basically, while I've been in uh, this predicament. And, you know, long may it continue, hopefully. And, Sean, let's just point... I don't want to go into too many gruesome details, but let's just point out the crash wasn't your fault, was it? You, you, You weren't charged or anything. You know, you were an innocent in this crash. That's right, Stevie. I, it wasn't my fault. Um, I was on a motorbike. It was a lovely, clear, sun, sun, sunny day on a Sunday afternoon. Uh, at the time, I was um, I was wearing a bodybuilding 18 stone, Whew. and obviously, it's, you know, you know I'm, I'm just under six foot one, so I carried the weight well. Sure. And when you can see, I used to box at 11 stone and 11 six. And I was on my way home from the gym, and um, oh, that's what I'd been doing. I just bodyguarded the week before was Lee Ryan of the band Blue. Yeah. So I was looking to get into that sort of, um, that sort of environment. Stuff. And the next thing I know, a lady's pulled straight out in front of me in a Shogun and bingo. I mean, I, to be honest, I really did save a life because I was heading towards the driver's door and I twisted the underbars of the bike because I knew I was going to go through the window and I would have hit her. So, I, you know, basically I twisted the handlebars. We tried to, you know, relax and let myself slip through the window, but... Unfortunately, um, I, I broke my back, I broke my sternum, I, I broke all my rib cage on the left hand side, I punctured a lung. You know, it was, it was pretty horrific. But it's remarkable, I didn't get knocked out. <laughs> and even, I remember even then, you didn't get knocked on, out. I didn't get knocked out, Steve. No, I was lying on. Uh, um, as I landed halfway through a window, the, the, the paralysed or dead part of my body, the dead weight, pulled me back out of the window. I lay on the road, I took my uh, crash helmet off and I repeatedly said my lad's name out loud oh, because I honestly did think I, it was uh, it was curtains and I wanted wanted to go out with my lad's name at least on my lips. Oh, Sean, you know what, mate? It's a, it's a pleasure in a, in a hard way talking to you tonight, but I'll be in touch again and I'll get you on again. And, Sean, just give the uh, listeners the details of that website again, how people can speak to you online. Well, that would be terrific. Thank you very much, Stephen. The website is www.britishboxinggreats.co.uk forward slash forum. And um, I, I, I look forward to chatting with people on the forum.
Thanks very much, Sean Cummins. It's been my absolute pleasure talking to the governor this evening. Thanks, kid. I wanted to go out with my lad's name on my lips. Ah, oh, that's proper stuff, that. Sean the Governor Cummins there. Uh, slow road back. Some gruesome details, I have to tell you. I'm going to read.